Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my investing videos. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to go ahead and talk about 10 things that you should know if you're going to start selling some covered calls. And uh, right here, right off the baseball bat, I have all 10 things listed, 1 to 10. So if you want, you can stop the video, you can copy all this down, you can uh, save this to a, a file on your desktop, whatever you want to do, and you don't have to watch the rest of the video. All the ideas, they're right here, 1 through 10, uh, in order. But if you want to know why, for example, number one, selling out of the money calls is not a low risk strategy. Why do you not want the stock to go down? Why is the shares getting called away a good thing? That's number five. Maximum profit. Why are these things true? Then go ahead and keep watching this video. So if you're here still with me, welcome to my video. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip on over here and I'm going to show you something. This is what uh, motivated me to do this video. This here is, is my Facebook account, my option trader group right there. And this person right here, Brooke Stott, don't know who it is, made a comment about the covered call strategy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and read it here. She says, so I decided a solid low risk strategy right now for me, and she put that in capital letters, kind of interesting, would be selling covered calls. Can someone give me some advice on a good strategy? TTD is the stock and I grab 200. I assume that means she bought 200 shares. So would you sell weekly calls a little out of the money? And down here, she's got listed the stock. And on the left, these are calls that expire on the 4th of January. This was back in December 28, 2018, near the end of the year. And here on the right, uh, those are two-week calls. And so again, so would you sell weekly calls a little out of the money? Worst case, the stock jumps and I still profit. Okay. So already alarm bells are going off for me. That would be her best case. But moving on, I know the underlying stock could depreciate, it, could depreciate, but I'm not worried about this stock long term at all. And in that case, I bank premium every week to minimize the damage. This will be my first time selling covered calls. So if I'm overlooking something, let me know. Trying a new trick here. So that's exactly what I did. So down here, let me go to the comments. Uh, and then uh, let me find my little comment. Here I am right there, Mark Jackson, and I made a comment. And again, uh, her comment, worst case, the stock jumps and I still profit. Okay, so I put a comment. The stock jumping is your best case. You would make maximum profit on the trade in the given time period. Your worst case is if the stock drops. Every dollar it drops eats into your covered call premium. If it drops more than the total cost of premium, then you take a loss. And then this person here, uh, Matthew Robertson, also in the group, made a reply. How would she take a loss if it dropped? Just don't sell the UL. That stands for underlying, underlying meaning don't sell the stock. Keep selling out of the money calls, right? You keep the premium. Don't sell UL. And no loss realized. And so I reply, it's an unrealized loss. If it drops big, then what strike price does she sell? She either sells lower strike prices and takes a realized loss if the shares get called away. That's if the stock goes back up and it blows past her lower strike price, below her dollar cost average, or she just does nothing hoping the stock goes back up. And then some more replies here. And so he replies, gotcha. The point is then to have a plan, a system, a process, a positive expected return. Don't be like, oh, I'll buy some shares, then sell some calls and make some money. It has to be part of a plan that will work over in the long run and handle all scenarios. And so I reply, everybody has a favorite strategy. And it seems like cover calls is it for so many people. The market will not bend to your will. You must bend to the market or end up taking big losses. And so finally, this person here, Brooke Stott, replies, If you own a good stock and you're selling out-of-the-money calls, long-term you will be good regardless of the ups and downs. Worst case, your shares get called away on a gap up, so she still doesn't get it. 
Uh, that's her best case, uh, but she still thinks it's a worst case. But if you have a good stock, it will recover from dip, crash, or what else the market has in store. So picking a good stock is key. And so my reply here, you don't need covered calls to pick a good stock. If that's your game, then pick the good stock. Don't even mess with the options if you're good at picking stock. And so she replies, so it can't enhance your returns. That seems like a silly comment. And so I knew that this was coming to an end. Once a person starts taking shots at my comments, then I know it's pretty much over. So I, I reply, it can actually hurt your returns. A good stock will go up in value, right? And if the good stock does go up and you sell a cover call option, then your shares will get called away. And I waited a few weeks before doing a video. I thought of doing a video like right after, but I waited a few weeks. And this is TTD right here. This is, okay, today is February the 20th. That was back on December the uh, 28th. So it's almost two months here, seven weeks ago. And this is what TTD has done. So let, let me put in uh, where it was on December the 28th. So this, this would be right about where it was, okay? Now, if we go back to her comment here and look at what she did. So I'm wondering which call she sold. Did she sell like this 119 maybe? Or maybe she sold the one two weeks out. If she sold the 119 one week out, the bid's 220, the ask 280. She would have made about $250 plus all the appreciation in the stock, right? So stock was at 116, so she would have made $300 plus the two. 50, let's say, so she would have made about $500, $550, okay? And uh, if she would have sold this one, looks like she would have got bid being 420, ask being 480, she would have got about 450, so she would have made a little more, right? Uh, again, 163, so she would have made about $700 there. But look what the stock has been doing uh, the last few weeks. Going back to the chart here, it's all the way up to $150 a share. So if she would have sold those call options, then look at all of this profit that she would have missed out on, you know. So does that sound like that the cover call strategy is enhancing her returns? But Because she certainly got the stock right. She picked a good stock. But the cover calls, I would say, hurt her returns. What do, what do you think? What, what does this look like to you? Okay. So... Uh, that's all of that is what motivated me to do this video so let me flip back to my little PowerPoint and let's start with number one number one selling out of money calls is not a low risk strategy why is that because when you sell cover calls you have to buy a hundred shares of the stock and if we look at TTD right now uh, let's go to my Ameritrade and right now uh, let's put in TTD this Right now it's $150.09 a share. So the when you sell out of money cover call, first thing you do is you buy 100 shares. So that's $15,000. Okay, that's your total investment. Now you're going to sell, let's say, an out of the money. Let's go to 22, 22 days out, and let's say you sell a $155 call option. Okay, so looks like for the next 22 days you're going to get the bid 980 the axe 1080 so you get about a thousand dollars that's decent return if the stock holds those levels okay but what if it doesn't what if you know you but you buy the stock like right here and you sell that 22 dollar day covered call okay that's about the 150 and then in the next 22 days it goes all the way down to 104 dollars okay well congratulations you're going to make a thousand dollars on that covered call but you're going to lose five thousand uh, dollars, actually not quite five, over four thousand dollars on your underlying stock value, right? So that's the risk you take when you sell an out of the money covered call. So selling out of the money covered calls, not a low risk strategy. It's a high risk strategy, and that's related to number four here. Okay, the higher call strike that you sell to open, the the more risk you take, the more money that you could lose. The lower call strike that you sell, the less risk. And that is related to number seven right here. Uh, or I'm sorry, not number seven, number six right here. You can never lose money from the intrinsic value of the call. And I think that's super important to understand. So uh, let me show you what I mean. If we, if, if we sell uh, this uh, $155 call, Okay, and it expires in 22 days, and let's say we uh, click on that like that. Let's go ahead and do it. Let me 
uh, what the heck happened? Okay, so let's put that in. Let's put sell to open right there. Put one and let's put in 10. So that would be $1,000, right? And so we look and there you go, $1,000. And uh, then you place the order. So congratulations, you have a short call option. You sold a cover call for $155, whatever. And now let's say the stock goes all the way up to $200, okay? Let's say it does that. So let, let's retake a look at the option chain, okay? If the stock goes up to $200, now if you were to sell to open this call option, and then the and then the stock uh, closes at two hundred dollars. That means that this call option on the day of expiration, twenty two days from now, would be worth forty five hundred dollars. So if you just sold to open the call, you would take a thirty five hundred dollar loss. But the trick is you own a hundred shares of the stock. So even though you lose thirty five hundred dollars, okay, you're buying the stock at one hundred fifty dollars, right? So you take the $150 and you get to keep all of that profit. So now your, your $15,000 turns into $20,000. So you make, yeah, you lose $3,500 on the call, but you make $5,000 on the, on the, uh, on the stock. So you can never lose money no matter how high the stock goes on an intrinsic value. And I think that's very important to understand because knowing that means that you should not be afraid to sell an in the money covered call. If you sell an in the money covered call and we go way far in the money, it's pretty comforting to know that I could sell this hundred dollar covered call all the way down there and I cannot lose money on the intrinsic value. Now, uh, notice it's tricky here. The bid is 48.20, the ask is 52.30. So if you're gonna be buying the stock at $150 a share, then you should get at least $5,000 or more for that intrinsic, uh, I'm sorry, for, for the premium, okay? So you, you do have to keep that in mind. So let, let's go up to, let's say, 120. If I, if I got even the bid, if I got $3,100, okay, 120 plus 31 is 151, and I'm buying the stock for 150. So I am guaranteed I'm going to make $100 in the next 22 days as long as this stock closes above $120. I cannot lose money on the intrinsic value of the call. It's very important to understand, and knowing that means that you should not be afraid of selling in the money cover calls, and actually selling in the, and this is number seven here, selling in the money cover calls on volatile stocks is a great way to make money, and I'll show you what I mean, okay? Let me go back to Ameritrade, and let me put in Nugget, one of my favorite, this is actually an ETF on the gold mining stocks, and very volatile. If we uh, look at this chart uh, real quick, and I'll we'll just pull it up in, on here on Ameritrade. Look at how volatile it is. Okay, back here in July, looks like it was about thirty dollars a share, and then went all the way down to ten dollars a share. That's a sixty percent drop. Now it's all the way up to twenty-five dollars a share. So we're talking some serious volatility. But look at the premium that you can get on these options. Okay, so let's take a look at this option chain, and uh, let's go out. Let's say fifty-six days. Okay, and let's look at some in-the-money calls, like I'm saying. Okay, so right now, this stock is at $23 a share, $23 and a penny. So these calls, they expire in 56 days. That's about two months from now. So stock's at $23 a share. And uh, let's say we sell a, I don't know, uh, you got to make sure the, the, the spreads are tight. Here's one, $16 call, you get uh, 720, 735. So let's say 725. So stocks at 23. So that's about a 25. Uh, that's about a 25 dollars that you'll make on that. That's only a one percent return in, in two months, but that would be a six percent return for the year. And look how far that the stock would have to try have to go all the way below 16 dollars. Okay, 16. That's a seven dollars drop. That's like a what a almost a 30 about a 35 percent drop and uh that's because of the volatility of this stock the premium is really good if we went up to let's say let's say we go 10 percent drop okay so 10 percent of 23 two dollars and 30 cents so let's look at the 20 dollar calls so for 20 dollar calls 56 days 
you can get the bid is 415 the ask is 430 so let's say 420 you get 420 dollars 20 plus 420 that's 2420 2420 minus 23 you're going to make 120 dollars in the next 56 days so that's about a five percent return uh 10% would be 230 and I said you can make 120 so that's about a, a five a little, about a five or six percent return and that's a nice 20 to 20 that, that's about a 20 to a 25 percent annual return as long as this stock nugget does not go below twenty dollars in the next 56 days if it does you can always close it out if if nugget goes down to 19 or 18 then this this call option will drop probably down to $100 or $200. If it's right before the expiration, it'll be worth $0 or $1 or $2. And then you can just sell another cover call. And maybe you could get enough money if to make up the loss. Like if it went down to $18, maybe you could sell a cover call. I mean, look at this call. If we, if we look at some of the out of monies or even at the monies, if we look at the near the monies, and we look at some of these. Here's a $24 call that you can get $200. So that would make up the difference. So if you wanted to stay in, you could. If you want to get out and set a stop loss, you do that too. So selling in the money cover calls is a great way to make money on volatile stocks. You could look at stocks like Amazon, Netflix, Tesla. You know, all of these are volatile stocks. And I'm sure you could find some good juicy call options you could sell in the money. Okay. Now. Uh, I guess I'm kind of going all over the place, but going back to number two. So selling out of the money is not a strategy. The higher call strike, the more money you could lose. The lower call strike, the less money you can lose. And that's because you can never lose money on the intrinsic value of the call. So when you sell the lower strike price, you take in more premium. And that gives you more of a cushion on the way down if the stock happens to go the wrong way. And that relates to number three here. You do not want to go st the the stock to go down. The reason is is because the share when the shares get called away, that means you are hitting your maximum profit. Okay, when you sell cover calls, then cover call strategy is a bullish strategy. It's not a bear strategy. It's not even a neutral strategy. It's a bullish strategy. You want the stock to go up, and if the stock goes past the strike price of the call option, then you make the maximum profit. I'll show you what I mean here. So let's go back to uh, TTD, and let me go ahead and pull that up here on my Ameritrade real quick, and uh, let's see if it's there. There it is right there, and let's go ahead and look at the uh, current option so let's stick with these 56 days okay so let's say we sell like 160 dollar call options uh 56 days out looks like we could get the bid is 1050 the ask is 1180 so about 1100 dollars okay that now if let's say the bottom fell out and the stock went down from 150 let's say down to 120 dollars a share well you own 100 shares of stock so you just lost three thousand dollars in the underlying yes you can hold on to it and hope it comes back but what if it doesn't you may be sitting around for weeks or months hoping to make your money back right uh but you're down three thousand dollars and you make a thousand dollars so you're in the hole two thousand dollars now if the stock goes up to 160 then you're going to make a thousand dollars and if it closes at 160 or let's say 159 dollars and 99 cents then you're basically going to make a thousand dollars and you're going to make this premium here so if we sold to open this call option like this put in a one contract like this and then let's put in 11 like that then that is eleven hundred dollars and when you sell to open a call you're giving somebody else the right to buy that's to buy your stock from you. Now, because it has a strike price of $160, then that means that whoever's buying this call from you believes that this stock is going to go up higher than $160. And if it does, then there's a chance that the option buyer might decide to buy the stock from you. And if, the st if TTD goes up to $200 a share, then the option buyer is probably going to say, I, I'm going to buy this $200 share stock for $160 a share, and you are obligated to sell it with you. That's the risk of being an option seller, and when you sell covered calls, you are an option seller, but you bought the stock at $150, stock went up to $200, so uh, you will make $1,000, but you will be obligated to sell at $160. That cuts your profit down to just the $10 a share, 
but you're also going to make this eleven hundred dollars so your your maximum money you can make is one thousand plus eleven hundred you could make two thousand one hundred dollars in the next 56 days and that would be a very decent payday i would not be upset in this in the slightest bit if my shares got called away and so that's another important thing to understand is that when the shares get called away that's a good thing it means you made the maximum profit on your trade and you do not want this stock to go down for the same reason if the stock goes down you're losing money and if the stock goes down more than eleven dollars right because that hundred sixty dollar call you made eleven hundred dollars it goes down more than eleven dollars that means that if TTD went down to hundred and thirty nine dollars a share or lower then you begin to lose money okay now what's left here I talked about this one selling cover calls not an income strategy and this is just a matter of definition ladies and gentlemen income means you buy a stock and it pays a dividend or you buy some real estate and you rent it out rental income or you buy some treasury bills uh, maybe three years or the 10-year bonds and you're gonna make I think they're at about two and a quarter percent you're gonna make that every year that's an income but when you buy a stock and then you sell a call option which is a contract to buy your stock if you if you sell a contract if you sell a call to somebody else to buy your stock from you then by definition that's not income is it you can't buy a stock and then say hey I'll sell you this stock that I bought for X dollars and if you give me this that sounds good that's not income that's profit or maybe you can call it growth but it's definitely not income and when you do that the minute that you buy a stock the, the, the very minute the instant that you click your mouse button and you sell to open your cover call you are no longer an investor you become an option trader and becoming an option trader is a great way to lower your risk and get higher returns I believe everybody should uh, become an option trader it's it, it's certain I would say that is the critical key that has made me a profitable investor I, I I guess I can't even call myself an investor right I'm an option trader I don't sell cover calls anymore because I've learned I've learned the diagonal spreads I'd much rather buy a call and sell the open call options rather than fork over all the dough for the stock but there's nothing wrong with cover call strategy and uh, finally I haven't talked about this one yet selling cover calls and selling cash cure puts that's the same thing the risk is the same the money you can make is the same and I'll show you what I mean if I go uh, let's go ahead and stick with this 56 day one okay now okay this uh, let's see which call should we pick this hundred and sixty dollar call option uh, the bid is 1050 the ask is 1180 so eleven hundred dollars right now notice this one okay this put option same strike price $160 uh, the bid is 1970 and the ask is 2160 now when you sell a cash secure put that means you you choose not to buy the stock when you sell a cover calls you're buying the stock and you're selling a call but when you're selling a cash secure put you're choosing not to buy the stock so that means you're not going to fork over fifteen thousand dollars. You're just going to keep that fifteen grand sitting in your balance, and, and you're going to keep that there just in case the stock uh, or, or the shares get put to you, right? So when you sell this hundred and sixty dollar put option, you're collecting the bid nineteen seventy, the ask twenty one sixty. So let's say two thousand uh, dollars. So uh, now on the day of expiration. Uh, I'm sorry 160 on the day of expiration this $160 put option will be worth $1,000 can you see why that is because if if you have a put option which gives you the right to sell the stock at $160 a share but the the stock is only worth $150 you're making a thousand dollars of a profit and notice how closely related this is it's actually a little higher there's there's some implied volatility in these calls but the risk is almost equivalent now suppose we sell to open the hundred and forty dollar call the bid 1990 the ask 2160 so about two thousand maybe two thousand fifty dollars right now on the day of expiration this 
$140 call will be worth $1,000. And look, almost like magic, that's how much money you would get if you sold the $140 put option. If you sold this $140 put option, you will get $1,000. Uh, if I put in a sell order like this, sell to open, put in one contract, the bid 970, the ask 1040. So if I if I put in N, review the order, there you go, $1,000. Okay, so back to the option chain here. And notice that, that the stock right now is worth $150. So if that contract was going to expire today, this $140 call would be worth $1,000. So it equalizes. Selling a cover call put is the same thing as selling a cash secure put. Selling a cover call is the same thing as selling a cash secure put. The difference is when you sell a cover call, you buy 100 shares of the stock. When you sell a cash secure put, you just keep the money in your account. If you don't have the money, then that's known as selling naked puts. You can do that if you want, but that's a totally different ball game. So there it is right there. If you're still with me, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're not with me then you know that's good too that means that you stopped the video way back in the beginning of the video and you copied all this down and, and you got it all going on so that's good too and uh, as always if you have any questions about any of these things uh, why selling out of the money is not low risk or whatever feel free to leave a comment and uh, until then thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video have a good day